Wow, that is one big old beautiful carrier. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to our first look in a long while at World of Warships. Previously we took a look at this with Bradford and ever since then there's been massive improvements to the graphics and tons of new stuff added as well as many new doodads and gizmos for your ships. We've uh, played this game quite a few times actually and it just seems to keep getting better with now inclusion for console players. Yeah, it's on consoles as well as PC. So check down below in the description where today's episode is sponsored by the makers of World of Warships as well. So make sure you go ahead and check it out with the links down below in the description and find out more. There's lots to do in this game as you now don't just have to be on the surface. We'll take a look at a few different uh, ships today, but there's also now submarines in the game and also super ships that go beyond tier 10 that kind of have their own ranking to them. So yeah, a great game overall. Lots of people love it, lots of people play it, and uh, I'm glad that they reached out and wanted me to play it again. So without further ado, let's jump into some more hot action on the high seas in World of Warships. Thanks for joining today, and thanks again, by the way, for subscribing. Thanks for all the likes, and let me know what ship that you prefer down below. All right, let's go. Time for a different red, white, and blue, the Dutch. All right, so this is a pretty good destroyer. The nice thing about this one is it's got incredibly quick-firing guns, so the HE rounds on board and also the AP rounds are going to be dished out hella quick and man it's looking sexy uh, another great thing about this ship too is of course it's got well the ability to hide itself with smoke screens so we'll see that in play here uh, also the ability to fire aircraft and aircraft guns uh, very fast and also the ability to boost it too so this is almost like uh, like a mini cruiser in a way it's like a destroyer in many ways except it doesn't have torpedoes so where it makes up for that it's got lots and lots of firepower on the deck. That's good. And it's got maneuverability. First target. Looks like it's a little far away, but we should be able to dish out some pain. Gonna try HE rounds first, maybe start a fire, and then try to use some AP against some smaller ships, like, for example, a cruiser. Nope, incoming. We're detected now. HE rounds going out. This thing, man, that fire rate is so good. A couple of good hits there. Nice. Those rounds thundering out like crazy, man. Love the quick firing guns of this and also the, I believe, Cincinnati or the. I always forget, it's the Atlantic or the Cincinnati or both. Good stuff. Okay, sneaking out of our smoke screen. Time for a little bit more fun. Only took minor damage there, but now we can dish out a lot of damage. Emotional damage. And a little incoming in return. Okay, a little more than a little. Time to go. Problem solved, sir. Ooh, nice dodges. Fantastic. And a lot more rounds coming in. This ship is pretty damn good for its size. Like it's it's got a lot of firepower and it's not too big, so it's able to really dodge a lot of direct damage by not really catching any of those shells at all. Even though they were really well closely placed. But slip it out. Okay, smoke screen is recharging, so we'll have to get a little closer soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to try to fire where I think the enemy is. We're going to do a little blanket fire. And there's a destroyer there hiding in smoke, although it looks like clear water. Well, maybe landing some more hits. There we go. Just dish out that damage. Or at least trying to. At least we're hitting the target, and that's what matters a lot, too. Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. All right, more targets nearby. Well, you know, another good thing about this game, too, is that 
during all of the updates that we've uh, missed out on over our time playing, there's been uh, a Godzilla vs. Kong update, and also Transformers and Azure Lane collaborations. So there's like ships, paint jobs, and events that are all around those types of uh, franchises and like other things that are related to it. So, you know, you can of course have your historically accurate ships, but if you're a big fan of some of the other things there, including Godzilla vs. Kong, then you can fight it out uh, and uh, do so in many of your different ships, which is pretty useful uh, for giving you a little bit more fun than just the regular old ship. Additionally, there's a lot more updated graphics than I've noticed before, and more detail, rather. It's not just quote-unquote graphics, meaning it looks nicer and shinier. It's also that I've noticed a lot of the smokestacks as you're trying to, you know, hammer away at full speed on your ship. A lot of the smoke looks more realistic and like the engine's actually pumping, and that it's alive rather than just being an engine. Pretty good. All right, coming in for some more kills here. So some of the ships that we've seen so far are battleships and cruisers and destroyers, but something that we'll see a little bit later is, of course, aircraft carriers, too. And submarines, of course, are the newest added piece of equipment to the game, or the newest class. So you've got quite a few classes to deal with, and they are all quite different. Like, for example, there's only two submarines in the game at the moment, but they work incredibly different other than just the typical go underwater, thus can't be detected. They still have a lot of different things that separate them to be a little bit more viable. Oh, look at that damage. Love it. Dishing it out, dishing it out. Now, right now I'm playing alone, but as we've done so previously, playing with Bradford, we've been able to be in a division where you and a teammate or several teammates can all team up uh, together in order to then go out into each of these fights. So you can, of course, play against the AI if you'd like to. You can also play against players, and there's ranked matches and other types of events like that. That might give you unique rewards, and uh, there's always events going on, so anytime that you log in, you get daily points and other bonuses for just logging in, and additionally, uh, events from time to time, where if you just participate, uh, no matter how well you do, you'll get something at least for participating, which is quite nice, I'd say. Oh man, are we going to get a kill here? Oh, very close. Very close. Come on. There we go. All right, the Dutch scoring a kill. Hell yeah. <laughs> very good. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Oh, looks like some aircraft coming in. We'll be fine. This is totally fine. Ooh, the map is pretty. Oh, look at all the fog. All right, a little destroyer trying to sneak away. We'll see if we can get some last minute hits on him. going awfully fast and he's going to return some of that damage but destroying a destroyer is a very important thing for our team oh everybody's got him it's over it's over he's done <laughs> everybody's on top of him Second kill. Oh, the aircraft coming in. Aircraft getting a good Problem final solved, kill sir. on him. Good job from the carrier. Nicely done. Well, we're going to be a little too late for this one, trying to counter cap. But hey, we got a good destruction in and almost, what, 50 hits or so? That's pretty good for a first start. <laughs> first try. All right. Good job, everybody. 
Nicely done from the team. Hey, it's pretty good damage and some good money received. Not bad, but it's time to try out some submarines now. So if we go ahead and go down to our filter and filter to the new type of submarines, let's go ahead and see what we got in store for us. We got ourselves Japanese, looking nice, and the Soviets too, looking good. Almost uh, semi-modern of like, uh, what was the name of that movie? Uh, the Widowmaker, what was it, K-17, K-19, whatever it was. That looks along the same line as early nuclear, as where this seems to be, uh, you know, World War II, for sure. Looking nice, though. All right, let's try out some submarine combat. I'm sure this will go swimmingly. Well, I noticed the Japanese submarine had a deck gun, and the Soviet sub here has a much longer underwater capacity, or, I guess, time limit. The Japanese submarine can be underwater for about two minutes, and this one can be underwater for about four. So the Japanese is very good for a stock approach. Get very, very, very close, come in for a run, and then dip out ASAP. Though this sub can be underwater for a lot longer, giving it a, an ability to ambush quite more effectively. So that's pretty good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can close in on some targets here. If we can land a hit, that'll be great. Essentially, the way this works is that we will fire torpedoes and then we can use an acoustic uh, bounce or like um, kind of like a targeting, um, like a sticky thingy, basically, to target the enemy. What I mean by that is we can fire torpedoes. We can use our sonar then to try to like detect enemy ships, like to ping them or to like it's almost like as if we're uh, shooting them with like a tracking thing or like a homing beacon and then our torpedoes can hone in on that and that's pretty cool so wow yeah look at that we're finally submerged looking good this is actually the first time i've seen this i knew submarines were coming to world of warships but i didn't know how it would look and i'm rather impressed at least that there's some life underneath the sea too i'd imagine that different types of um ocean landscapes will have different types of um maybe plant life underwater It'd be cool to see fish and such too or maybe a whale that you'd actually maybe shoot with a, a torpedo be kind of funny. Okay, Clay. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, careful, careful. Closing in there on the rocks. Don't want that. No, don't, don't do it. All right, four torpedo tubes in the front. One behind us too, by the way, so we can actually use it as a hit and run uh, tactic to shoot a ship, and then as they come after us. Uh, try to target them with uh, one final torpedo. All right, pinging the enemy ship here. Good. Let's go ahead and fire our torpedoes. There we go. Now we should be able to target the ship again in order to increase like the effectiveness. But it looks like we will be rather close to where the enemy is. Let's see if we can get a hit. Not bad. Let's land a hit. Hey, nicely done. All right, well, the Soviet sub after that was rather uneventful. So let's go ahead and try out the Japanese now. Beautiful weather effects too, look at that rain. And look at the deck gun. So that'll allow us to at least uh, maybe submerge and ambush some ships with the deck gun, maybe perhaps finish off a destroyer if we get nearby or some sort of a, a ship from a small distance. It's not too effective, but at least we can fire back without having to worry about uh, aiming so much as in like pointing the submarine towards the enemy. But a great looking submarine. This, of course, being more World War II as where the other sub, I think, was like 52 or 55, somewhere between there for the Soviets. Oh boy, look at all the weapons we got too. Oh man, we got different types of torpedoes, the ability to repair, and I think something to freeze our battery where it doesn't, uh, we can like stop the countdown timer and just get a little extra boost out of it. Not sure what the technical term is, but, and we're picking up speed now too. Now, all right, looks like we have ourselves a good target off in the distance. Let's go ahead and submerge, yeah, looking cool. 
And there we are, underwater. Alright, let's see how we can make this work. Wow. There is a chance for a kill here. Man, does this look good. Alright, a few different classes to shoot out here. We've got another submarine nearby, yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that, baby. Let's fire off those torpedoes and see if we can hit them with the acoustics. The ping. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Wow, good damage. Try to line that up again. We could fire, but I think he's going to be toast by friendly fire before we get too far. But let's try again. We'll ping. One ping only. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Let's surface and be cool. Cool ships don't look at explosions. Now nah, we gotta look. Increase our accuracy with multiple pings. Battery depleted. Taking a lot of damage. Trying to box him in with torpedoes, but he's pretty much finished. Good spread on the torpedoes, but I don't think the range will be acceptable. He's moving away pretty quick. But they would be hits if they... Yeah, if they were far enough. He's going to get finished off. Closing in a little bit. Detected now. Enemy sub may be nearby. Incoming fire. Alright, fire our own torpedoes and try to ping. Okay, let's see if we can surface. We're running low on time. Torpedoes to port. Oh, we're getting pinged. Torpedoes to port. Enemy sub is around. Take a little damage. Sir. 
All right, time to retreat and go back the other way. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes to starboard. Going to be pursued by that enemy sub. Ho oh, ho, torpedoes coming close. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Well, we're going to have to surface here shortly. Very shortly. Keep moving. See if we can bring whomever may be chasing us back to our friendly team. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Concentrate All right. Time to surface. fight on our hands. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Ah, uh, the enemy sub. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. He missed with his ping, but we can try to counter ping. But let's use our deck gun, I suppose. Deck gun's pretty cool. He's going to do some damage here. That'll probably finish things off. Not bad. All right. Time for the Soviet sub again. Some good redemption and hopefully getting a little bit more action. The previous sub, the Japanese one, did a very good job of doing incredible damage to the enemy with uh, one sneaky hit. It's kind of cool. you got to be real patient, but you can do a massive amount of damage as long as you time things right in this game. I like it. And a beautiful day, too. <laughs> the water looks so nice. It's really, really nice. And the wake looks good, too, from all the ships whenever you, uh, of course, are maneuvering around. The biggest wake from the battleships looks very cool. But the sub, trying to make a small one. Sub kind of works like a, a slower destroyer, really, with just a lot of extra capabilities that makes it uh, super deadly torpedo-wise, obviously. All right, we could be spotted here. The enemy also has the ability to drop countermeasures on us, so they could, of course, shoot at us. They could also drop uh, some things from aircraft, such as um, like depth charges that could force us to surface or repair. Uh, sometimes they do very little damage, but hit you with something like flooding or uh, maybe an onboard fire. And that's something you certainly don't want, but at least it can be remedied rather quickly. Okay, we're going to try to go for a nice kill here with the Soviet sub. Hopefully we can do better than we did the first time. Always improving in this game too, by the way. There's no shame in dying a lot, so long as you feel like you've learned something. A tactic to avoid torpedoes, a way to possibly position your ship to minimize damage, the ability to quickly fire at enemies and identify what kind of a ship it may be, and to quickly target their weak points, or knowing what ammo types to use. But sometimes you just gotta fire what you got and might not have time to change ammo, especially if the enemy's about to slip behind a mountain. Alright, we're going to slip into smokescreen. And now, underwater. Good. The ultimate smokescreen, I suppose. The entire ocean. Attention. 
Alright, this is a fantastic opportunity for a kill. Get nice and close. Try to hit him with that bombardment. surface. Capturing the area. Attention. Reporting the target position. Well, a lot of ships moving around quickly. Trying to lurk in this area for a little bit and see if we can find a weak opening. Come on, baby. See if there's anybody we can take a shot at. Closing in on something. Oh, a carrier. That would be the perfect target. We just gotta lurk in stock for a while. So we might be able to do some massive damage to, or at least intimidate this carrier so it can't launch aircraft as easily. It'll be paying attention to a few other things, hopefully. Beautiful, the ocean, all the sounds too. Music is great in this game too. One of the things I hadn't mentioned is that the tunes are just nice. It's certainly a soundtrack I would listen to outside the game. Definitely uh, I don't know, good workout music, jogging, just going out on a little stroll. It's pretty good. A little pep in the step. All right, looks like we got torpedoes incoming, torpedoes outgoing. Nice shot from the uh, torpedo aircraft flying all around the uh, carrier, which that likely is from. All right, time to dip. Take some shots. Problem solved, sir. All right, we're about ready. Hit him with some pings and some torpedoes. All right, a nice wall of torpedoes going out. Let's see if we can get him to surface with the ping. Our team has taken the lead. Stations requesting fire on the designated target. Yeah, we're going to need that air again. Nice. All right, we got destroyers around. Yeah, 
Uh, destroyers are probably the ones most likely to spot us since they're so fast and have a good detection range. Alright, some torpedo shots and maybe a little little ping. Got to get a bit closer. They need to get a bit closer. Torpedoes, direct front. All right, let's go for a ping here. And some torpedoes. Baby. Those torpedoes got to land a hit. Getting them with multiple pings, I believe, makes us more accurate, to, or it's better somehow. I, I don't know if it reduces the spread, but you can actually maybe aim for the particular spot of the ship you want to hit. And in this case, we sunk them. All right. Hitting them in the backside with quite a few hits there. Unexpected. Nice. Enemy ship destroyed. Looking good. Very nicely done. Good job, boys. All right, that does it for me at my time at sea. Love the new submarines and definitely think I'll try it again. I've played the aircraft carriers. I love the cruisers. Really down with the destroyers too, but subs and destroyers have so far been some of my favorites, followed by some of the lower tier battleships in the game too. But hey, again, check it out with the link down below in the description. Thank you very much for watching some more World of Warships and I'll see you all soon for more. Thanks again. Bye.